Hey Jewelerinos, it's high time we mount a real pencil sharpener in our house somewhere. Um, you know, the kids have the kind that are portable, but the result is whenever I need one, I can't find one because it doesn't stay put. If I mount one, it will always be there. <laughs> so I picked this up at a local thrift store called Mission Thrift for $2.50. It appears to be new in box, though it has had some hanger rash, so to speak. Uh, says, positive point stop, will not over sharpen, hone steel, state-of-the-art cutter head, flexible six-hole guide, accepts popular, si popular pencil sizes, and sharpens them better than ever. For best results, for best writing results, always use barrel pencils. Empire Barrel USA, Brentwood, Tennessee, made in USA. There we go. All barrel pencils are PMA certified. Look for the seal. Pencil Makers Association. Hmm. I didn't know there was a Pencil Makers Association. All steel receptacle, easy to mount, four screws included. Optional clamp available at your stationer. And here it says improved tamper resistant handle. Not quite sure what that means. Forgive the sizzling in the background. That is the crock pot steaming away over there. So let's see. To install a new cutter head, instructions for installing a new cutter head. Interesting. Come on. There we go. Barrel made in USA. Barrel Giant Apsco Sharpener. Looks pretty nice. Uh, doesn't see any screws. Somebody must have had this open before and and taken out the screws. But uh, doesn't appear to be any marks at the screw holes to suggest that it's ever been installed anywhere. It's a double cutter. Nice. It says something here. Barrel USA, Division of Barrel Corp, Brentwood, Tennessee, with... I think those are zip code. Oh, hey, look at that. There's the screws. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's get it installed. All right, well, it seems like an odd place to mount a, a, a pencil sharpener, but I'm gonna mount it to the snack shelf here in the corner of the kitchen. Uh, tried to look at other places to mount it on the cabinetry and everything, and it just wasn't ideal. and. My wife wasn't too keen on me putting holes in the cabinets, but uh, she wasn't uh, too concerned about this. So uh, I want to pilot drill these holes. I marked the hole locations here with the base of the pencil sharpener. And so I'm busting out my new Yankee Handyman Power Master Made in Japan uh, push drill to make the pilot holes. That was pretty deep. Probably a little too deep. Yep. Look at that. Worked like a charm. So there you go. Nice old hand tool. Still worked perfectly. I know a lot of people today would consider something like this old and busted. But uh, it doesn't use any electricity. You don't have to have batteries and it makes a perfect hole. So what's the problem? Now to mount the uh, pencil sharpener base, the screws are very small. And so I found that this quick wedge works perfectly to hold it. So the, uh, the quick wedge, this came from that $5 yard sale tool haul. I just cleaned it up uh, when I did the SK nut driver. And uh, it is engraved. Uh, here in the in the little depressed area here, it says Barnes. I don't know if you can quite read that in there, but Mr. and Mrs. Barnes, wherever you are, thank you for the screwdriver. Mm. 
So the third screw here at the front, you can't get a direct angle on it. There's holes through here, which made me think they intended you to put the screwdriver through there. But when I do, the angle's still not quite right. I can't hit the head of the screw. So I think I just have to put it in at a little bit of an angle and just be careful about it. I don't want to damage the quick wedge by using it at an off angle. My wife made me keep them because she likes to have a set of screwdrivers handy, but uh, this was a delusion. Look at that. Completely untempered, unhardened piece of junk. But it's her set. What should I do? You know, I think I'll just put her together a nice set of better screwdrivers and I'll give it to her for Christmas. All right, let's see how this pencil sharpener is gonna work out. I've got a nice pencil here. Nice, right? Dog chewed on. Perfect. First pencil sharpened in this sharpener. Ta-da! Pretty good tip. Pencil sharpener project is complete. Hey, Tolerinos. Remember the bucket of shame? I uh, put toolusions in here. Things that look like a tool but are totally non-functional or more or less non-functional like this Phillips that was ground crooked and it was part of the set of my wife's that she got I don't remember where but they were super cheap and they're super crappy and you just saw what happened to the one I used to mount the uh, pencil sharpener they're just too soft and uh, the handles are already like cracked up but I will see if I can come up with a few decent screwdrivers out of my collection I don't think I'll have any trouble with that. <laughs> and these can all go where they belong in the first place. Into the bucket. There is no redeeming qualities worth keeping any of those. So let's see what I can find to fill out this little pouch. Alright, there's a nice little assortment to put back in the pouch. A couple flat heads, a few flat heads. A number one and a number two Phillips, and a pokey thing. All decent screwdrivers, much better than the Tolusions that were in there.